Here we go. Here we go. Thomas, why? Father? <gasps> Hurry, Ashley, hide. What do you hope to accomplish? Mommy? I follow this path. I can get to the mansion. Watch out! What? No going back now. What should I do?
Huh. Um. That's, uh... This is the way to the mansion. Hmm. All right, now I can get across. Huh? What's this? Edward, the captain mentioned that name. What? Ashley. <laughs> Look alive. We're almost there. Uh. Blood Edward Island? Right you are, miss. That's our destination. Used to get more than two visitors at once. Not much call for a ferryman there now. <sighs> <sighs> I 
anyway. Your business is your own, of course. But I'm sure curious what calls you out here. The day before my 14th birthday started off pretty bad. On the boat, the waters were calm. But inside, I felt tossed in a storm. I was so excited, but also lost and angry. I've never felt so torn apart. Who could blame me? I mean, my dad, I always thought he was dead. But he's alive! Jessica, hey. Oh, good. You're awake. Come feel the breeze. It's nice. Yeah, nice. What's wrong? Feeling seasick? Nah, I'm alright. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Let me guess. You had the dream again? Yeah. I don't know why I keep having it. It always ends the same. And no matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Don't rack your brain too hard. You were so little back then. Besides, you'll see him in person soon. So cheer up. I guess. Jessica is Dad's little sister. She's all the family I have left. She's raised me since I was little, and on a high school chem teacher's salary. Don't get me wrong, she's been really nice. She always considers what's best for me and helps me out when I need it. Now though, I don't know. Why did you never tell me dad was alive? Why have you been lying to me all this time? That's... I mean... I promised your dad. Promised him what? It was 11 years ago. Richard showed up one day, holding you. He just turned three. It was so sudden, I could tell something was wrong. He said, look after her. I'll be back for her someday. But until you hear from me again, it's best if you tell her I'm dead. Why would he say that? He didn't tell me. I bet he wanted nothing to do with me after mom died. No, it wasn't like that. Oh. My brother's a good man. Please trust that he had his reasons. He's not the kind of man who'd abandon his child if there was any other option. I remember the warmth in his eyes as he looked at you. <sighs> when I saw that, I knew I had to take care of you until he came back home. I'm so sorry, Ashley. I wanted to tell you sooner. I received a package a few days ago. It didn't say who it was from. But there were two things inside. A letter from Dad, who I thought died when I was three. 
and this strange device that looks like a game system. Now here I am, rereading the letter on a boat with my aunt, heading to Blood Edward Island, where my dad is supposed to be waiting. So, what was he like? My dad? Well, Richard is a brilliant neuroscientist. He was, is, a neuroscientist? Like, he studied brains? Yeah, and I bet he made that device he sent you. Really? He made this? Okay, that's kind of amazing. What exactly did he study? His focus was on memory. Memory. Huh. He worked for a leading neuroscience research center. Talented scientists from all over the world came together there. He met a scientist from Japan, and they fell in love. Before long, they got married. You're talking about... Right. Sayoko. She was your mother. So, Dad sent me this. It says D A S. Das? What do you think that stands for? Dunno. What's his camera icon? It works. <laughs> now, how do I look at the picture I took? Not bad. Could you take one of me next? Sorry, but no. You're the only one who can use that thing. What? Why? I had spent some time fiddling with it after it arrived. Seems like it's keyed to your genetic data using biometrics. Tell me more about mom. Sayoko had a powerful mind and an equally powerful will. She had beautiful eyes too. And that's where you get yours. They look just like hers. That's not what I mean. I want to hear real stuff. Like what? Just tell me the truth about her. Whatever it is, I can handle it. And I won't be mad. I just want to know about mom. <sighs> I always thought mom died along with dad. Since it turns out dad's alive, that means mom is too, right? Is she on the island with him? Y you can tell me. Ashley, that's something you'll have to ask Richard about. He'll get all the answers you're looking for when you meet him. Great, thanks. Biometrics? Biometric systems read a person's unique attributes. They can use those unique identifiers as a sort of key. Your DAS seems to have a system like that built in meaning it won't work for anyone but you. Huh. So, it'll only work for me. Sorry to interrupt, but we're almost there.
<laughs> He's not here. Wasn't someone supposed to meet you here? Strange. I wonder if something came up. Richard should be here. I changed my mind. I'm not going. Ashley. Why isn't Dad here? He's the one who told me to come to this island. So where is he? What? Is he too busy? I bet he doesn't want to see me after all. <sighs> Excuse me? No offense, but I have other passengers today. I'm going back to the mainland in a bit, if that's all right with you. Yes, that's fine. Well then, I'll be back by evening to pick you up as planned. Got it. Thank you. Why don't you wait here? I'll go find your father. I'll be right back. Your mom looked worried. Jessica's not my mom. What is she then? Your sister? No, Jessica's my aunt. She raised me. My dad bailed. Left me with her. I thought he was dead until I got this letter. Hold on now. What? Uh, it's clear you're working through some things right now. And I'm not one to meddle in other people's business. Are you sure you wouldn't rather go off with your aunt? It doesn't matter. <sighs> so long as we're waiting, why don't we have a little chat, hmm? Sure, but what's there to chat about? <sighs> well, we could talk about this island. Can we talk about you? Ask away. I'll answer whatever I can. So, how long have you been a captain? Uh, since well before you were born. Cool. That long, huh? <laughs> Why a captain? Was it your childhood dream? <sighs> Who can say? Didn't you ever want to be anything else? Maybe so. Can't say for sure. It's been quite a while since I thought about it. Huh. Is it normal to forget the past as you get older? Nah. You forget what you want to forget. Isn't there anything you want to hold on to? Of course there is. Your heart keeps all the really precious memories locked away. The heart remembers, huh? Right. You might think those important memories are lost. But your heart can always set a course back to them. All right. No one lives here, right? Not these days. So there used to be people here. They say it was once home to a family of rich folks. But the Patriarch got sick and things went from bad to worse. Why? What happened? Uh, most of the family died. One right after the next. <sighs> How did they die? Couldn't tell you. Was it one big tragedy or a bunch of little accidents? Hold on now. I get that it can be tempting to dig into something like this. But take a lesson from me. 
don't go meddling in other people's business. Even if you got to the bottom of it all, what do the dead care? <sighs> anyway, the whole thing drove what was left of them away. So now the place is deserted. Some heartless folks started calling it blood-soaked Edward Island. But I guess that doesn't quite roll off the tongue, because now it's just blood Edward Island. Well, that explains that. Do you come to this island a lot? Hardly. It's rare that anyone feels the need to come out this way. Though, I did recently ferry a tall blonde man here. Wait, really? When was this? What was his name? <laughs> Aren't we a nosy one? I mean, this could be my dad we're talking about. Sorry, miss, but that's all you're getting out of me. I don't talk about my passengers, and I'll hold firm on that. Okay. Hmm. Isn't that your aunt? Huh? Yeah. Shouldn't you go? Uh, right. See you later. Are you kidding me? Don't tell me it's locked. Yep, just my luck. He left. He actually left me here. Now what? <sighs> well, doesn't this suck? Stupid old stool. Why am I just sitting here? 
I need to hurry and find Jessica. What's that jingling? Nice. Got it. But what's this key for? Jessica must be up ahead. Jessica.
Sure are a lot of old buildings. Must have been a bunch of people here at one point. Wow. Was that a scream? What was that? Jessica! Uh, 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 Jessica! Good, huh? If I follow this path, I can get to the mansion.
Whew. I made it. Is this what I think it is? Huh? 
Huh.
Nice! It's open! Huh? Not going anywhere with this rock in the way. <sighs> Am I gonna have to move this thing by myself? grave? It looks different from the others. Now what? <sighs> what? Is someone there? You. Who said that? Stop hiding! You can hear what I say? Of course I can hear you! Quit playing around! This isn't funny! I'm not playing. <gasps> hmm. So... Ah! Excuse me. What... what do you want? I just want to know your name. Uh, Ashley. Your name is... uh, Ashley? Uh, no. J j just Ashley. Ashley Mizuki Robbins. So I should call you Ashley. Please don't hurt me! I don't want to die! I'm still young! Don't be afraid, Ashley. I don't mean you any harm. Please, open your eyes. Look at me. Okay, okay. I'm opening my eyes, and I'm seeing... I'm seeing... A ghost? Ashley, can you... see me? Uh, yeah. You're not just saying so? I said I see you. You can see me! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, now it's laughing. Why is the ghost laughing? Why is there a ghost to begin with? I'm so freaked out right now. What's so funny? I'm laughing because I'm happy. About what? I've been waiting so long for this. So, so long. For someone like you. What do you mean, someone like me? All this time, I've been hoping for someone who could see me. Well... You've got your wish. A person who can see you. And that's a big problem for me. I, I never wanted to meet a... a I, I mean, you're... You're totally a... A ghost? Ugh, I was afraid you'd say that. Don't be afraid. My name is... Um... It's D. D? Kind of a weird name for a ghost, isn't it? Oh, I can't believe it. I'm really talking to a ghost. 
I bet this is all because I moved that rock. It probably disturbed the ghost's resting place. <laughs> Man, what am I gonna do? That's not quite right. What? That's not my grave. My body isn't buried under that stone. It isn't? I've been here for a long time, but no one's ever noticed me. I've been alone for so long. You've been here all alone? Yes. You're not the first to visit this spot. But none of the others ever realized I was here. Why not? I don't know. But you're finally here. The first person who can see me. That's why I know you're the one. The one? The one who can help me regain my memories. What do you mean, regain your memories? Ashley, I don't remember anything about my life. Not a single thing. <gasps> Who I am, how I died, it's all a blank to me. I think that's why I'm still here. Why I've been cursed to wander here for so long. How long are we talking here? Uh, 57 years, if I haven't lost count. You've been here for 57 years? Is it that surprising? Uh, yeah, because 57 years is old enough to be a grandpa. I suppose that's true. It's also a really long time to be alone. I can't imagine. Yeah. That's why it's so important that I regain my lost memories. I want to get back all I've lost. I can kind of sympathize. About not remembering stuff, I mean. But you can't remember anything at all, D? <sighs> not even a single detail? There is something. It's not much, but it's there. What do you remember? I remember that someone once called me D. And this mark on my chest. What is that anyway? It's the last thing I ever saw. It was burnt into my mind at the moment of my death. Hmm. The mark is my biggest clue. If I figure out what it is, I may understand how and why I died. I have to know, Ashley. I need to get my memories back. Searching this island is my best chance, but I need your help. Help you? But I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if I can do anything to help. I think you can. If nothing else, you can see and hear me. I waited 57 years for that much. Please, Ashley, help me remember. D, what should I do? I don't want to just leave him here. But I've got my own problems. I need to find Jessica. And I've got to be back at the dock tonight for my ride home. Plus, on top of all that, I still really want to see my dad. Listen, Dee. I came to this island to see my dad. The same dad that Jessica's been telling me was dead all my life. Your father? Dead? I got mad at Jessica. Then she went off by herself and now I'm all alone. I should have been honest and told her I want to see my dad. Dad. Uh, yeah. What I'm trying to say is, I need to go see him. So, 
Sorry, D. I can't help you. I just don't have time. <sighs> Father. D, is something wrong? Father? <gasps> I grew up in this house. Father. You okay? I... D? Weird. Is he mad at me? But it's not my fault. I have to find Jessica. Here goes. Maybe. All right, I should be able to get into the mansion from here. These are... Jessica's glasses! That must mean Jessica made it here after all. Another locked door. Now what? These are some... Intense door knockers. Ashley. <gasps> D? <sighs> so, this is where you went. What happened? You just up and disappeared. I thought you were mad at me. Mad? Why would I be mad? Because I said I couldn't help you. Oh, no, I wasn't angry. What you said helped me remember something. That memory led me here. 
So what did you remember? My father. I remembered a bit about him. It's been so long since I could remember anything at all. But then you spoke of wanting to see your dad. When I heard that, a few things suddenly came back to me. I know I was with my father when I first came to this mansion. Then, were you a visitor here? Like me? Where were you and your dad from originally? That... I don't know. Although... I'm starting to remember a little bit about my time at the mansion. I thought seeing the inside of it might jog my memory more. Can you open this door? I can't. I already tried. It's locked. I was hoping to get inside so I can look for Jessica. You mentioned this Jessica before. Who is she? She's my aunt. She raised me. She may be in trouble somewhere inside. Wait, aren't you a ghost? Can't you pass through walls? Nope. I can't even wiggle the door knockers. <gasps> I grew up in this house. Fortunately for us, I know the secret to these door knockers. I just remembered what my father said about this door. He told you something about this door specifically? Yeah, I, I remember now. He said, I know the secret to these door knockers. Ashley. If you can figure out the secret, we can get inside. You want me to figure it out? I know you have trouble remembering things, but does this remind you of anything? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, right. Come along this way. Let's get ourselves inside. to these door knockers.
Hey, D. I know you have trouble remembering things, but has anything come back to you yet? Hmm. Come along this way. Let's get ourselves inside. There's a clue in the game you were just playing. The game. Yes. I was playing on those tiles. I see. Um, anything else? Hmm. Sorry. I can't remember anything else. Well, what do you know? Thank you. Jessica's gotta be somewhere inside. Dad too, I guess. What's wrong, D? I've waited for this moment for so long. I can't help being nervous. <laughs> uh, pardon? Who ever heard of a nervous ghost? <laughs> I guess that is a little funny. You're the least scary ghost I've ever met. Hey, D. How about we team up? Hmm. I think I can help get your memories back. And in return, will you help me find Jessica? Yes, that's fair. Then into the mansion we go. What could scare the two of us together? Right. Can't believe I've made friends with a ghost. What a day. We're friends? Aren't we? You're right. Friends it is. Glad to hear it. Come on, Dee. I made a friend.
It's the das. What's it doing? This is it, Ashley. Come to Lake Juliet for a camping trip. It was so sudden. Like, I have a life too, right? I already have my own plans. Whoa! It's beautiful! So this is Lake Juliet, huh? Uh, 